trucking accidents aren't car accidents. They're, they're more complicated. Um, and, you know, the best interest is to get a law firm that knows the area, uh, has expertise in the area. So if you or someone you know is injured in a crash with a big rig, a commercial vehicle, do you know how to get help? Do you know what your rights are? We're going to find out right now on this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest is Calgary lawyer Steve Grover. I want to remind you right up the front, if you want to ask Steve questions of your own, it's easy. Just go to askthelawyers.com. Click the button at the top that says Ask a Lawyer. It'll walk you right through the very simple and free process. Or you can call the phone number you'll see on the screen during our conversation. Steve, it's good to see you again. Thank you for helping us out and answering our questions. Hi, Rob. Nice to see you again. Thank you for having me today. Talk about truck accidents, truck crashes. How big of a problem is this? Is this something that you've seen a lot of in your practice? Uh, I mean, obviously, truckers are an essential part of our society. I mean, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't get our food. Uh, we wouldn't get the cars we buy. Uh, but unfortunately, um, there are a lot of big rig accidents that occur in Canada and Alberta. Um, so they are, they're, they are a big problem. And unfortunately, you know, when there's a trucking accident involved in a vehicle, it's obviously the vehicle that takes the brunt of the impact and they lead to catastrophic injuries. It, it would seem to me uh, when it comes to uh, gathering evidence these days, a, a lot of passenger vehicles have dash cams. I would imagine even more commercial vehicles do. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, I mean, obviously, dash cam is part of society now. I mean, for three, four hundred dollars, I would recommend anyone get a dash camera on their vehicle. Um, obviously, you know, commercial vehicles like big rigs or any kind of commercial vehicle like a, um, a condo van, uh, you, you know, owned by a commercial company like a furniture company or you know a grocery company they should have dash cams on the front of them recording what's going on in front of the truck but also uh, there's a lot of dash cameras that are inside the vehicle monitoring what the driver himself or herself is doing so we do have a recording of you know what happened just before the accident which is great evidence to have uh, you know when you have a trucking accident so you can determine liability right away of actually what happened and also what was the trucker's um, uh, act before the accident by recording the inside of the truck too. What happens to that video? Is that the sort of thing that automatically they'll save and, and, and use it even if it doesn't help their case or is that something you need a lawyer quickly to make sure that video doesn't disappear? Um, I mean, you know, ultimately it should be preserved. It should be part of business practice of a company that owns a, a big rig, rig that, you know, that evidence should be preserved, not only for the accident, but also for the records of the uh, trucking company to see what happened inside the vehicle at the time of impact, what happened outside the vehicle at the time of impact, so they can, uh, you know, improve trucker safety. But sometimes um, evidence does disappear. Um, and, you know, um, unfortunately, when it does disappear, uh, it's, it doesn't help us develop the case. But, I mean, it's also something that we need to act as lawyers right away is to preserve all the evidence regarding the trucking accident. So we have that evidence for the case. Let's talk about what happens, say, after, immediately after a, a crash, with, likely with injuries. What happens on the trucking side of that? What, what does the driver do? What do the companies usually do? I've heard like response teams and that sort of thing. Tell me about that. Yeah, you are correct, Rob. I mean, uh, trucking companies, you know, they've got big insurance policies. They have big reputations that, you know, to upkeep. Um, unfortunately, when an accident occurs you know, involving someone that's injured, uh, you know, the trucker will call dispatch right away. Um, I know of some trucking companies where they have attorneys on staff right away or lawyers on staff and they usually they sometimes get flown to the scene. Uh, the lawyers will not only the response team, including their investigators going out, uh, me taking measurements, taking photos, getting statements from witnesses right away. So they have all the hard evidence of what happened in the crash uh, before someone who's injured in the accident calls a lawyer. So. I mean, there are response teams that act 24-7, and they get out to a, a scene right away. And what is their goal, Steve? What is, what is their goal on the scene? They're not there to uh, help make sure the injured person, you know, gets has evidence. Tell me what their goal is. Well, I mean, th their goal is obviously to serve the trucking company, to see how the crash occurred, to see, uh, to get all the evidence they can, to build their own file, 
Um, so if they are, is, there is a lawsuit arising from the uh, accident, they have all the information to, to pass on to their attorney, their attorney's, you know, the lawyer's law firm, so they can defend the claim. Obviously, they're there to build their file, to uh, punch holes in the plaintiff's case of the injured party. And um, obviously, you know, they're, they're, sometimes their evidence they, they serve disappears, but, you know, mostly they're there to build their file and see what their exposure is on the claim. You mentioned evidence disappearing. Is that something you've seen happen in your experience? And is that even more of a reason why the injured person needs to get somebody on their side as soon as possible? Because the longer they wait, the more likely it is that happens? Yeah, I mean, I recommend people to get a lawyer right away. Um, you know, obviously, evidence does disappear. Witnesses do, do disappear. Uh, witnesses leave the jurisdiction. They may move from Calgary to Toronto. You may not be able to find that witness that can expose the trucking company to liability. Um, obviously, you know, you should retain a lawyer that has experience in trucking accidents. That lawyer that you retain, that law firm, will send out a, you know, preservation letter right away to the trucking company. Obviously, you know, via registered mail to make sure the trucking company gets it. Uh, if there's no response, the law firm will go out and make an application in court uh, in Alberta for a preservation order so a judge can sign that order and then we can get our experts out there with our own investigators to inspect the uh, truck and the semi-tractor trailers and make sure that we have our evidence to build the case against the trucking company. You mentioned earlier that uh, sometimes these sometimes these trucking companies are big corporations. Obviously, some many of them have big insurance companies behind them. Uh, a single person who's uh, maybe catastrophically injured in a crash may be thinking, "I can't go up against those guys." How do they how do they help level the playing field? Is it getting someone like you on their side? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, you know, there are big companies out there. Walmart's one of them. Uh, there's big trucking companies across North America and Canada. Um, you know, to lay, you know, to level the playing field, as you say, I mean, obviously the, the normal person out there who's, you know, just having a job and supporting their family, they can't afford and they don't have the, the time and resources to go up against a big trucking company. Um, I recommend that person who's injured to, you know, search out, do the research, see what kind of law firm does trucking accidents like our own firm. Trucking accidents aren't car accidents, they're, they're more complicated. Um, and you know the best interest is to get a law firm that knows the area, uh, has expertise in the area. Not only that, our firm keeps up with seminars. We constantly are going to seminars to better educate ourselves on different aspects that are changing the trucking industry all the time. Um, you know, it is a fluid industry. There's always changes coming along. So I recommend if you want to level the playing field, far hire a firm that has the expertise, the time, and the resources to go up against get big corporations like trucking companies. How important is it, uh, Steve, to hire somebody who's prepared, if need be, to go all the way to court, uh, and not just somebody who's looking to settle as quickly as they poss as they can? Well, yeah, and I think that's an important factor. Um, you know, there's uh, the saying through Sun Tzu, The Art of War, the book. I don't know if you're familiar with Sun Tzu, but if you want peace, prepare for war. Uh, any file that comes in our office, our first thing is looking to set this matter down for trial. Um, you know, the other insurance company, the trucking company, they have the time, they have the resources, they have lawyers that are specialized in this area. Um, there's a lot of lawyers that I know, especially in, in the U.S., that are, you know, they, they have their trucking license. They understand what it is to drive a big rig. Um, and if you take on a file like this, you, you know, you, you have to prepare it like you're going to go to trial so the other side knows that, hey, you know, we're serious about the claim, the plaintiff's serious about getting compensation for what, what he or she is out and putting in the same position as they were before the accident. If the matter goes to trial, I guess it goes to trial, but, uh, you know, some, a lot of these cases do settle out of court, but the trucking company and the insurance company wants to make sure that the lawyer and the law firm are ready to go to trial on the file. Lots of great information, Steve. Thank you for making some time to answer our questions. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time, Rob. Have a great day. That's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Calgary lawyer Steve Grover. I remind you, if you'd like to ask Steve questions about your situation, go to askthelawyers.com. Click the button up at the top that says Ask a Lawyer. It'll walk you through the very simple process. It doesn't cost you anything to ask your questions. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Rosenthal with Ask the Lawyers.